Hi, uh, today I would like to show you how you can uh, install another operating system from a USB drive and uh, how, uh, what you need to do in BIOS uh, in order to do that. Uh, first to enter BIOS, uh, we would need a keyboard. Uh, for a keyboard, uh, we fortunately do have a dock keyboard that comes uh, together with ASUS. Unfortunately, it's a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, Bluetooth keyboard is completely unsuitable for this purpose because uh, for Bluetooth to work, it needs OS to load. In BIOS, you don't have OS, so this keyboard does not work. You can connect it nicely, but it still doesn't work. What we can use is just standard USB uh, keyboard on a USB 2.0 to go uh, connector. Uh, or you can use uh, any other proprietary wireless uh, keyboard uh, like a Logitech one. I'm going to use a Logitech one here just because that's the keyboard that I have lying around. To connect USB 2.0 on the go uh, connector, you can use uh, nor your normal charging port, which is basically just standard uh, 2.0. And then it uh, fits not reasonably nice uh, and everything is fine and dandy. Or you can use on another side uh, USB 3.0 connector, also known as that ridiculously wide one. And when you place it on one half, it will uh, support just uh, 2.0 because all 3.0 lanes are on other part of connector. So it's backwards compatible. I guess that's the only uh, good thing about it. In any case, uh, I'm going to use 2.0 port for this one. Uh, another part that you need is you need to somehow connect your USB drive or external CD-ROM or anything, yeah, pretty much. So this I'm going to use also on the Go connector, uh, on the Go converter, but this is USB 3.0 uh, on the Go. And uh, from one side you see that uh, crazy wide uh, connector, and on another side we have standard USB uh, A connector. For that, it's a bit less of a fit, but it kind of works nicely. So now we have everything connected. Uh, when, what, as we power on the laptop or tablet, we need to hit F2. Uh, this can be rather hard to hit. So I'm just going to quickly try. Come on, yeah, from the first. So here we have uh, just pretty much a standard uh, bio screen. We mo uh, move uh, using uh, cursor keys, so there is nothing new there. I'm just going to move a uh, keyboard off screen because it's quite tight fit here. So we do have boot menu so we can permanently change boot order. I'm not sure that why would you do that. There's really no need for it. Uh, you always want to boot from internal hard drive. And uh, another part is boot override. And here on uh, UEFI boot uh, we can uh, select either internal UEFI boot or we can uh, ha uh, have a UEFI boot of external USB. Uh, this boot override is going to happen only once. So these boot options take place every time you boot the system. So if you have a boot option one UEFI uh, USB drive, it will always attempt to do so. If you do this boot override, it will attempt to do so only once. And if you are a Windows user and you have a new installation of Windows, this is all that you need to do. You just select this one, press enter and that's it. If you want to install uh, some uh, Unix, uh, then you would need to additional to go to secure boot, boot uh, menu. And here you would need to disable secure boot support. Uh, most of uh, Linux uh, distributions don't come with uh, their UEFI key or UEFI key is not loaded uh, on a computer slash tablet uh, itself. So you would need to dis uh, disable secure boot support. For Windows, uh, you don't need to do that. So now we just say, OK, boot of UEFI. And in a second or so, you are going to see Windows 10 installation uh, starting up. I'm not going to proceed because at this time uh, there are issues with Windows 10 installation. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't recognize this device as a tablet, uh, so it pretty much becomes uh, useless. Also, one interesting thing is that all the windows have recovery partition and everything is nice, beautiful. In theory, you should be able to recover. No matter what you do, you should be able to recover windows. If you install windows 10, uh, your recovery partition becomes useless. 
so so much for recovery. Good thing that they reserved only 16 gigabytes of space for that uses feature. But that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.